Hello, it's been a while. So, um, recently I've been a bit naughty. Like I've always been very curious about the Rees trousers. Let me turn the radio off because it's distracting. I've always been very curious about Rees trousers and they come in petite. They've always, like obviously Rees isn't, or Rees, I don't know how you say it, is a bit more expensive, on the more expensive side anyway. But I've been curious and I thought I had to try a pair. I really want a white pair, good quality, petite trousers or cream. Someone's calling me. So, anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, that was Dad. Um, asked me to go out and get some screws because he's making our wardrobes for our house and he ordered the wrong ones. So I've got to pop out and get some screws. Anyway, yeah, I was saying I was being naughty. I ordered some trousers. The ones that I thought... It's a bit of a disappointment, to be honest. The ones I thought I'd like I didn't. Um, I did keep a couple of pairs. But yeah, I'll show you those two. I'm not going to go through all the other ones. They just didn't suit me, didn't fit right. Or, yeah. Which I'm glad, I, yeah, I'm just glad I ordered as many pairs as I did. Because the ones I thought I'd like I didn't. And the ones I was hoping I wouldn't like I did. Which are obviously the more expensive ones. Which is annoying, but never mind. And then, <clears throat> I also had a moment. They had this beautiful, I really wanted a blue and white shirt and I saw, I can't remember, it was either on the model like styled with the trousers or I saw it like in the recommended bit, but it was a beautiful blue and white shirt with a large collar, big like cuffs and I don't know who I thought I was but I ordered it, it arrived, it was beautiful, the material quality and then I was like, I couldn't remember how much it was, I thought I'd check before like deciding to keep it and I was like, no, like Hoover, are you? You're not spending that much on a blue and white shirt. So, yeah, anyway, I'm going to take all that back. Yeah, I'm going to take all that back today, get Dad some screws. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the trousers I did decide to keep. Really annoying though, they're petite and they're literally fit like my five foot six sister. I'll um, show you the stuff. So anyway, this is my massive white box of trousers that's got to go taken back today. And this is the blue and white shirt, which is was just gorgeous. Um, the fabric was amazing, but I'm not going to pull it out, just because I don't see the point. Um, if you've got £150 to spend on a blue and white shirt, then go to Rees <laughs> and buy it, because it is gorgeous. But no, we're not doing that. It was stupid of me, just had a moment. So then I went online looking for blue and white shirts because I really wanted one. So I came across this brand, which I've never heard of before. I think they do... I should say I haven't opened it. They do all um, brands, sort of like old season, sort of outlet type stuff. So it's all like reduced prices. Anyway, I've got this sort of linen. It's meant to be like a cropped linen, khaki shirt type thing. I can't remember what brand it was. Oh, there you go. A line, I think it says. I've never heard of them before. Different blue, slightly more striped, but it's cropped. And I thought, same brand, line, line, ling, I don't know. But you'll see what they're like. I thought that looked really cute, the white linen trousers I've kept. So, yeah, we'll try those on. And also, whilst I'm just talking through stuff before I start trying things on, my hair's still damp. <laughs> um, I've also, because I've realised this winter, I think I realised it last winter as well and I just didn't do anything about it. So I've done something about it. <laughs> A lot of my coats are more tailored fitted or like I've got them in my exact size like in the past. And it's fine for if you're wearing a shirt or sort of just sort of like a thin turtleneck or like a sleeveless jumper but when it's really cold and you want to wear big cozy thick cable knit jumpers they're just not going over the top and it's so uncomfortable and I've realised I just don't really have any oversized big coats <sighs> this video just looks so bad because it literally looks like I've bought so much stuff but I promise you I haven't so it started back in January 
was back in January. I think Mango had some issues. It took forever to arrive. I think they had some issues in their warehouse. I was very patient. But I also wanted sort of a white, is it Ecru? Sort of an off-white coat. So I've finally ticked that one. So I got that. <laughs> then, that was back in January. We're now in March. Okay, so I'm not that bad. <laughs> Shouldn't have to. Um, I'm not. I'm just trying not to justify myself. But okay, I am bad. Anyway, and then, and yeah, and then I've realised how much I love the oversized coats. I think it was oversized anyway, and I think I've got a size 12. And like people were saying to size down, and I was like, no, I'm just going to go over 12. And it is literally so long on me. I have to hold it up if I'm going up the stairs, otherwise I'll fall over. I love it. So then I took to eBay. I thought I'll just see like what's on there. Like, considering we're coming into spring but never mind um they there's so many coats if you just search on ebay like herringbone wool coat or black wool coat or camel wool coat whatever there are so so many i was looking through last night like designer ones as well um or even like the old classic ones which is what i've ordered it's literally probably an old person's died in it but never mind <laughs> It is, I'll show you in a minute. I bid on it, I was the only person bidding on it. So I got it for like six pound. Um, it, it doesn't even have a size on it. I messaged her, like how, what size do you think this is gonna fit? She said, I don't know, probably like a UK 12, 14. I was like, perfect. So it's lovely, oversized. Um, a bit peaky blindery, like traditional black and white herringbone, black velvet collar, but I love it. And then <laughs> also, Actually, who needs this many coats? <laughs> um, I bid on another one. My battery's gonna die. I bid on another one. It was a shorter one. It's more modern, shorter, very fitted. I think it's like size 12, so again, oversized. But it is gorgeous. The fitting of it. So yeah, I'll show you those. And again, I think I got that for like six, eight pound. Stupid money. It's not even double figures. Stupid money. They're both wool, dry clean only, heavy amazing quality like old school coats you just can't beat that like new you'd be you'd be paying at least 150 pounds plus for these coats but yeah i'll show you so my camera has actually just died but this is the mango one and i spilled hot chocolate down it <laughs> so i need to take it to the dry cleaners it looks worse on camera than it actually is <laughs> um yeah it's just gorgeous Italian wool apparently mango do some lovely stuff and like I think for the quality like you do get a lot I know this is still like about 140 pounds but I just thought you do get a lot of it's just stunning but yeah it's very long it's not very practical color but I love it goes with everything because it's got the dark buttons it means it goes great with um it just ties in if you wear blacks doesn't look so out of place and then these are my bargains <laughs> which i'm probably going to move you away from the mirror so you don't see my dress me my dressing gown but yeah it's only this one's only roman originals so it's not it wouldn't have been expensive anyway but still it's got a beautiful shape to it and literally for six pound you can't go wrong Yeah, that is gorgeous. It looks amazing on. And then this is my Peaky Blinders. <laughs> my Peaky Blinders coat, which again, I'll try on. So it's got no tags in it. I don't know. Like, that's the only tag it's got. <laughs> so goodness knows. Yeah, it's just... A lovely wool coat so yeah i'm literally sorted for next winter now i just need to get a camel one and that is next on my list is a oversized camel coat which i've got my some on ebay i think this and whilst we're on the subject of what <clears throat> new things i've got recently i have become obsessed with pen halligans which is really bad because they're not a cheap perfume brand and you do get obsessed I think 
just don't do it to yourself unless you're looking for a new perfume just don't do it to yourself <laughs> i'm warning you now don't do it so yeah i have so many samples from them they do free samples obviously you have to pay shipping but i was on there anyway they do really cute gift sets which i love getting presents for people um yeah they do yeah, they just do lots of lovely different gift sets, but they do like these happy birthday ones that like say happy birthday on the sleeve or like thank you or like Christmas ones at Christmas time. Yeah, they do some really lovely gift sets. So I was ordering some birthday presents and I saw they've got some new summer perfumes come out with their samples. So it's like, well, I'm going to order samples, a load of samples. You can order up to three at a time. So I ordered three of the same one and I love it. Oh my goodness. And it lasts all day. Like even like when I've like sprayed it on my coats and then I pull my the that same coat out like a couple of days later, you can still smell it. Draw of perfumes. As you can see, I've got a lot of pen halligans. So look, this is what I mean. Just look at that bottle. So this is the juniper sling. One which to be honest, I love the smell. But I wouldn't, it's definitely not the strongest and I definitely would say it lasts as long as some of the others. I think I'd really love to get um, Juniper. Is it Juniper? No, Luna. This one's Juniper's thing. Um, I really want to get Luna. Which looks like... Look, look at these, these samples are so cute. So this is a mini... A mini Luna, which are literally just adorable. I want to get a big one of that because that lasts amazingly well. So I love this one, which I think is a unisex one. Which is how fetty. I broke the top off that, so I need to like get that off, and I want to get one of those um little. I don't know what they're called, but there's little ones you can put in your handbag. Okay, my point is, these are the new ones. These are the new ones. It's called High Grove Bouquet. And it just smells like summer in a bottle. It's gorgeous. I've got it on now. Yeah, I've got three of these. <laughs> Things from Pen Halligans, they all basically smell the same. They do. Like, you know if someone's wearing Pen Halligans. Like, you might not know exactly which one, but if you walk past someone and, like, you know the Pen Halligans scent, like, you just know. They all have that same sort of underlining smell. Yeah, I think they they do, they know their scents and they do a very good job. <laughs> and yeah, you just know, like I said, um, like the, our scales at work, like we've all ruined each other with it. And we know if one of us has got pen halligans on, it's like, which, which pen halligans have you got on today? <laughs> so, yeah. Another one. Oh, I mean, just look at the little sample packaging. This is a... Yeah, this one. The Revenge of Lady Blanc. Which is one of their... Um, they have, like, two different... They have, like, their... I don't want to say standard. Because they're definitely not standard. They're definitely bougie. They have, like, their ultra bougie ones. Which is, like, their luxe range. Which... You're going to expect to pay a lot for a bottle. And they have, like, their more... What's the word? They're... Like, maybe their essential range? Their, like, everyday range? I don't know. What would you call it? Their less bougie range. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, just go on there. Order some samples. Or even, like, order yourself one of the gift sets. Because of the gift sets, which you get, like, a few... You get, like, four or five of these in a gift set. So, like, get yourself one of them because they're not a lot. And these will, like, last you a while. And then order yourself a load of samples as well. And, like, yeah. But it will ruin you. I warn you now, it will ruin you. <laughs> so I apologise in advance. Right. I'm now ready. I think I'm going to put the shorter new coat on. I feel like, I think it's like 15 degrees today, so I feel like I'm probably going to regret the choice. I'm going to be a bit hot, but never mind. Or that might be wishful thinking. It might not be as warm as I think it is outside. <laughs> but yeah, this necklace is, I don't really wear it. It's only new look. Um, I think it looks really cute with Rolex. So, yeah, I think some cute earrings. In fact, both of which, these earrings, these ones I love hot hoops. And then some little ruby studs. Um, 
both of which are actually gifts from Sam, which are cute. But yeah, let's put let's put the new coat on and see what it looks like. So this is the jacket, <laughs> which I love. So yeah, even though it's short, it's still a good length. We're gonna have to excuse the tootsies. Oh, so this one was nine pound. This one down here, that one, that was six pound. This one was nine pound. Still, it's under ten pound for God's sake. <laughs> like, oh, messy bed. Yeah, more than happy. Feel like I'm gonna get a bit hot, but never mind. Maybe I'll put I'll put some loafers on rather than boots. There you go. <laughs> Hello, so it's actually now, like a week later, which is ridiculous, um, but yeah, it's been one of those weeks, um, and I never finished showing you the new like, stuff I've had in the try-on, and actually since then, some more bits have arrived, which includes this cute, um, what would you call it, little loungewear set from Camino Couture, which I'll show you. Yeah, I actually ordered, if you sign up to, I might have said this before, if you sign up to their newsletter, they always have um, like good discount codes and stuff. And I ordered a few bits a while ago, because some of their stuff is made to order. Um, I think like the majority of their dresses and things are stocked, but a lot of their knitwear, more casual stuff, is made to order. And I think they've been having issues with their knitwear. So... Um, yeah, I ordered this lounge chair, completely forgot about it, it was like back before Christmas and I remembered, I messaged them and yeah, they've sent me this one instead which was available now. So that's arrived, which is quite nice because it's almost like you paid for something so long ago, it's like, oh, got something for free when you didn't, it's just, I literally paid for it a long time ago. <laughs> but yeah, I'll spin you around to show you that. And then yeah, the joggers are cute, got the little stripe at the bottom, I was worried... It's funny, it's it only one size, so I was a bit worried about how it would come. They fit me on the length, which is really nice, actually, so if you're taller, it probably won't. Yeah, there's just a little jogging bottom set, and then a cute matching knit. Now we're now coming into spring, <laughs> but never mind. <laughs> this shirt is so cute. I've um, sort of ruched it in, actually. Sort of, yeah, I suppose you could either wear it like that, or I just pulled it in, tied a little bow, Ooh. I have to link it below, I would have said earlier in the video, but as that was last week in real time, I can't remember, I just said what brand it was, it's really nice quality, and then yeah, these are the trousers um, from Rees. need oh and you can see but I got them dirty I haven't even worn them yet um yeah I need to it is really annoying that when petite trousers aren't petite I'm like these are literally normal length I think trousers are just getting longer <laughs> it's really annoying oh Let's style these up. Oh, we've popped out. Yeah, I think that's such a cute spring summer, like effortless. So you've got Notice some flats, some tan flats, um, slider, some tan sliders, sandals. It's going to look really cute. So yeah, this is this one. Oh, I'm so excited. And it matches my toes. Got my green toes. Sorry if you don't like feet. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a really nice material. Doesn't feel like cheap and scratchy. What? Um, yeah, this one's gone straight in my wardrobe, and then the striped one to try. Oh, this is cute. Just need to keep 
trousers up. Have it open. Get a nice necklace on. Oh, speaking of necklaces. So, yeah. Oh my God, I can't do one thing. Let's just do one thing at a time. So this is the blue striped shirt that I was telling you about. And then speaking of necklaces, I kept nicking, I've got loads of Abbott, I don't know how you say it, Abbott Lion, Abbott Leon, I think it's Lion. Who knows? Um, they have, with the really lovely packaging, always comes, hang on, I've done this wrong. So, you, and then, let's just put it on the floor, and then, and all this lovely packaging, care and warranty, and little thank you notes, etc. etc. Little cleany thing. And then I've got this chunky chain necklace, which I think I got for Pippa's birthday one time. I have some smaller chains, and then I've just been nicking her chunkier one recently, which has been annoying her because she literally lives in it, so she doesn't take it off. So I was like, do you know what? They had her Mother's Day. <laughs> had a mother's day um what do you call it offer that's the word promo mother's day promo offer so i took advantage of that and bought something for myself <laughs> so yeah it's just a nice chunky chain the little toggle i think this will look nice The Abbott line have all the per you can personalize it all as well. Oh, I wonder if this is, I think this is longer than Pippa's one actually, which is good because I wanted a longer one. Oh, and it's cold. Their stuff is just really good quality and it is affordable. So, like this bracelet, for example, I never take it off. Let me get it out just because it's a little chain one and it's there's really fiddly to take on and off every day. So I literally just leave it on, like horses, shower, swimming, spas, like house. This doesn't come off and it's just, as you can see, it's not tarnished whatsoever. And I think this one was actually a, um, a free gift. They always have loads of promos on. Again, if you sign up to the newsletter, it is dangerous. They're always like giving away promo codes or if you spend so much, you get a free gift. And I this one was actually a free gift and it's not any less. The quality isn't any less. I literally, it doesn't come off this one. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, that looks cute. So I don't know, it, yeah, you might have seen on Instagram, I did a reel recently where Pippa said I look like a mum. So, you know, just getting my midriff out a bit. Not a mum. <laughs> Still young. Getting midriff out. Got the elastic stretch at the back. Got lovely large double button cuffs. Which we could literally do this for a bit of flair. A bit of drama. Drama in the sleeves. I don't know how people literally like do this and get their full outfit in. So yeah, a bit of drama in the sleeves. Like these trousers. <laughs> like, how do people get everything in? I guess maybe I could try and tilt you guys down a bit. Maybe. Does that work better? Now the angle gone funny. I don't know. Yeah. These trousers are lush. I love these trousers. Obviously they need an iron. They need taking up because as I said, there's nothing petite about them. The regular ones must be super long. <laughs> Which is alright for you girls with lovely long legs. Um I've also got another pair. So these are the other trousers. Again, they're breeze. They're a bit more of a nudie, softy pink soft pink, nudie pink, <laughs> kind of, they're not linen, they are a really lightweight, they're so lightweight and soft, really, they're just a proper, you'd be really cool in these in the summer, they are lovely, oh, my tags were giving me a lumpy bum, but um, yeah, again, they need an iron, 
they're super flared, super loose, super flared, super loose. Again, too long, they need taken up. Yeah, you could dress them up or down, whichever. Put some um, sliders on, put a wedge on, put a heel on, the blazer and a blouse, whatever. Yeah, you could wedding, wedding Christian, Christians? Christenings, weddings, or just every day on a hot day. Ah. High waisted, of course. Everything's got to be high waisted on me. Yeah. So I'll link these ones as well. And then I think that is it. Other than like the coats and stuff I showed you last week, which by the way it is now double figures. It's now like 14 degrees outside. So I don't really think there's much point in showing you. I might have already showed. I can't even remember. So yeah, I really need to get this video. It's not going to be a long one. <laughs> yeah, I just really need to get this video um, edited and uploaded. I do want to do some more videos. It's hard though. It's time. It's so time consuming. <laughs> um, I've actually really abandoned Montar recently, like the Instagram. Um, I'm going to go down to the yard and get some content now, I think that's really bad i've literally done nothing this side of christmas which is crazy we're at the end of march that is so bad um but i've literally just been relying on google ads and like concentrating on other things i think the house i can't even really i keep saying it's because the house it's the reno which to be fair any spare time we are there but i feel like i've even barely been there recently oh i don't know just bring on summer i'm so excited for summer <laughs> So yeah, Monta, I've got some lovely new spring summer bits in, which is exciting, which means I need to get down to the yard and get shooting them, which I think I'm going to do now. I'll probably, I'll end this video here. I would like to do more videos like this. I don't know. We'll see if I get around to editing and uploading this one. Because, oh yeah, that's the other thing. My hard drive for my Mac has decided to break. I think where I used to leave it just plugged in all the time, it's been like disconnected a bit without ejecting it properly like by accident and I think that's basically well bye bye hard drive basically um it's not the end of the world if I lose the stuff on there it's just annoying because it was like all my work and it was all sorted and it all has all in little folders and it was just I knew where everything was and to be fair I have got everything on my phone but my phone is completely an utter mess so yeah that's very frustrating and to buy a new one they're like £100, which is ridiculous. And that one, I don't think it's even a year old, which is really annoying. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping I can get that fixed. But yeah, anyway, I'm just rambling on. That's basically because I use that to edit the YouTube videos. Because my MacBook is only small and it doesn't cope with editing the videos very well. So, yeah, we'll see if I get this. My laptop can cope with editing this. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's a lovely day outside, so I'm going to head on out, say goodbye, put these lovely shirts in my wardrobe, and I will link them. And hopefully they're still available, because it's going to be very annoying if they're not. For you guys as well, if you want to buy one. They weren't a lot, they were like £15 each, I think. Um, so yeah, I'll see you later.